Hi, I'm Lou Luminick, Chief Film Critic of the New York Post, here with a review of Tim Burton's Franken Waiting. Tim Burton's best film in years, Frankenweenie is an expanded, beautifully realized, and highly entertaining animated version of his famous 1984 live action short about a young loner and his resurrected dog. Burton, whose films have gotten progressively more overblown and overproduced, goes back to ghoulish basics for this one. It's an endearingly modest and affectionate tribute to the classic 30s monsters and their influence on kids like Burton who grew up in suburbia four decades later. The first black and white 3D feature film since the 1950s, Frankenweenie is a great retro experience enacted by exquisitely detailed miniature models in slightly jerky stop motion animation. A medium Burton previously employed to great effect for The Nightmare Before Christmas and The Corpse Bride. Did you see those things? They were like sea monkeys. You know how on the package, they're like in a happy kingdom and everyone's smiling. Yeah. They're not like that at all. Victor, I need your help. I asked him first. My problem bigger. Yeah, he's right. Burton leaves no horror stone unturned from mummies to werewolves to giant monsters from Japanese movies. But even when he turns to spectacle, Burton never lets Frank and Winnie veer very far from the bond between Victor and his imperfectly resurrected pet. That's what makes this one so special. So I'm giving Frank and Winnie three and a half stars out of four. I'm the Luminic, and you can read my reviews at nypost.com. Victor, let's go. Hang on. Mr. Whiskers is trying to tell us something. Did you get that out of the litter box? <laughs> <laughs>